I have fond memories of my first trip to Sicily, and one of the highlights from that trip was a little bakery that Mary Jo and I stopped by where they made us a fresh cannoli to order. The crunchy cannoli shells tend to get soggy if they're pre-filled, so the good bakeries always fill them to order. Homemade cannolis are hard to beat. The shells are relatively easy to make, especially if you have the right tools, primarily the cannoli tubes or molds, and they're very inexpensive and available on Amazon. To make the dough, you simply place the dry ingredients in a bowl and make a well. Add the wet ingredients, mix it to create a stiff dough, knead it for about five minutes, and then refrigerate it to chill it for about an hour. Divide the dough into four pieces and roll out one quarter at a time with a rolling pin until it's about a quarter inch thick. Roll the dough through a pasta machine, starting at one, which is the thickest setting, and going up to number three. The dough should be about 1 16th of an inch thick. Lay the dough out on the counter and use a four inch cookie cutter or pastry cutter to make four inch circles. Spray the cannoli forms with a little bit of vegetable oil spray and place one on top of each of the round circles. Dab the very edge of the dough with a little bit of the beaten egg white and roll the dough over the form, creating a seal between the two pieces of dough. Drop the cannoli shells into preheated 350 degree oil and fry them for about 30 seconds. Using tongs, remove them from the oil onto a paper towel lined tray and and remove the shells from the cannoli forms. Place the cannoli shells back into the hot oil and fry them for another minute or so using tongs to submerge them and rotate them to get them to brown evenly and blister. In these photos, you can see I'm filling some mini cannolis with an amaretto ricotta filling and dipping them into some crushed toasted almonds. The filling I use for the pistachio cannolis is simply a mixture of ricotta cheese, pistachio cream, sugar, and vanilla. Cream of pistachio is an amazing product. Think Nutella, but only made with pistachios. I placed the link to the cream of pistachio on my website and also in the description of the video below. At room temperature, the cream of pistachio is great to use as a sauce or garnish on pistachio-based desserts. Here I've used it on the plated pistachio cannoli. This is a dark and white chocolate ganache with dried figs and pistachios. And in my pistachio semi-fredo, I've used it as a layer in the frozen mousse and also as a decoration on the plate. Go to my website, chefmichaelsalmon.com for the full pistachio cannoli recipe and links to both the cannoli forms and the cream of pistachio. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and are inspired to recreate it at home. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos. Check out my website at chefmichaelsalmon.com for recipes, my online store with links to my favorite tools and ingredients, and information on my two cookbooks.